Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And we're taking a look at 2021's The Cursed. It's a gothic horror movie. I did not find anything scary in this film, but it's got a good atmosphere. Um, if you have seen the movie, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So this is, like I said, it's from 2021. It stars Boyd Holbrook. And if you don't know who Boyd Holbrook is, he's the guy who plays the villainous character. I forgot his name now. In... Uh, Logan and um, also he was the lead in um, the, the the Predator film, the worst Predator movie of all time. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, if you want to count uh, Predator versus Alien versus Predator Requiem, that is the worst. This was second worst probably. Uh, you've also got Kelly Riley, Alistair Petrie, and Roxanne Duran in this movie. It was it premiered at the 2021 Sundance Film Festival. And it had a different title. It was called Eight for Silver. I do not know why, uh, because it's actually four. And it's, uh, yeah. So anyway, it's a British film. Uh, you actually see the first scene is the Battle of the Somme, a wounded French captain. He's brought to the medical tent and they operate on him to, to remove the bullets uh, because he is, um, you know, it's, it is eventually... Uh, thought to be fatal, but they're trying to rescue his, uh, save his life. They take out the three bullets and then they find that there's an additional fourth bullet, but that's made of silver and it's not of the German design, so it's, they don't really know what it is and they call his sister. Um, so basically what happens is, you now see it 35 years ago, you get to see this family um, in rural France. Uh, there's a baron called Seamus Lorraine and uh, he does not like the fact that there are some uh, there's a small group of gypsies on the edge of his land there's a dispute over the actual owners they say it is their land he says it's his so he gets his men together and they they basically kill the um, gypsies the leader of the gypsies an older woman she actually foresaw that they might be coming to uh, you know she's got powers so she saw that they will be coming to attack them so she had one of the men build a a denture made of silver with pointed um, you know canines i guess they're called so it's basically a denture made of uh, silver and uh, she uh, it's basically like a wolf's fang that's what they say so uh, they are attacked they're killed uh, so she and in uh, like a warning for any more gypsies that are coming, they after they kill off the rest of the gypsies, one of the men they they cut off his hands and legs and then put him as a as a scarecrow, stuff uh, you know hay and his wounds and all that stuff, and they put him as a warning for more gypsies to come, and then they bury the uh, woman with the, who's got the dentures in her hand. She's meanwhile saying enchanting a, a, a spell or something, and they bury her alive. Uh, later on, um, there's, a, there's some kids that are playing around and they are drawn towards the scarecrow. Uh, and one of the kids, his name is Timothy? No, Timmy. He is suddenly overcome with the urge to dig up uh, where the old woman's um, body was buried and he takes out the dentures and he puts them in and then he attacks um, one of the kids, uh, Ed, Ed, uh, sorry, Edward. Edward is the young son of Seamus. Uh, he... Uh, is brought home, uh, brought to the uh, house, but uh, they think he's been attacked by a wild animal. However, the daughter is pretty scared and uh, she she doesn't actually tell them. Uh, he becomes really ill and unfortunately in the middle of the night, scaring his sister, he runs away and they can't find him. Uh, they do find uh, Timmy who's been, uh, who's like, you know, he doesn't remember what happens. He's found in the church and uh, he's got no recollection of what actually happened. So he, he dies later and uh, uh, he was, uh, you know, uh, uh, he, oh yeah, he runs into the forest and he's actually killed by, an un, un, by a beast. They don't actually show him initially. And then um, the, uh, you know, the, there's this talk about this kind of werewolf kind of thing. It's not really a werewolf from what I've seen, uh, previous stuff, but it's close enough. And then they attack the, um, uh, 
uh, and like you know it starts attacking people uh, there is a um, there is a person a, a pathologist called john mcbride uh, suppose he's supposed to be british in this in this thing not american played by uh, lloyd holbrook he uh, visits the town and he says he is seeking information on the roma gypsies um, and he decides to stay along with the police lieutenant and uh, when they talk about the fact that there are these uh, killing by some unknown beast um, he uh, he is um, drawn to the fact that the Seamus's manner is actually uh, like he, during his investigation he comes to know that they uh, possibly had something to do with the death of the gypsies and uh, the that night the uh, manor is actually attacked by the um, by the beast but he doesn't get he's not able to come inside later onwards the uh, maid um, i think her name is Anne Murray uh, she is attacked and uh, then she turns into this beast and comes into the house and um, uh, you know she infects the father and uh, uh, she is killed by the uh, by uh, by john mcbride but the father is now infected and he realizes that he is to blame so he knows he is also doomed to become that kind of beast so he kills himself and uh, the rest of them they hide from the remaining beast which they have no clue who it is um, but of course you know uh, it's like you could predict it a mile away they go and hide in the i think they go and hide in the church um, but they hear a uh, young um, edward actually calling out from outside and then the mother uh, he tricks the mother everybody else is like almost half asleep and she opens it but in comes the beast and he starts attacking people killing people uh, and then uh, john mcbride has got no option he he tries to shoot the beast but the mother comes uh, you know uh, in, in puts herself in between him and the, and the beast while it's still attacking and then he has to shoot through her the silver bullet goes through her and into the uh, into the beast the mother immediately dies and the beast changes into edward um, and he doesn't die he actually grows up to become the uh, the uh, french captain that you see in the beginning of the movie so after this happens the house is shut down there's a, i mean there was a fire anyway in the big mansion so uh, john mcbride decides to adopt the two kids uh, the daughter um, the daughter's name is um, I think Charlotte yeah Charlotte he decides to adopt them and he they, they leave they, he takes the three remaining bullets and keeps it with him and decides that one fine day he will get the fourth one um, Edward is killed uh, they take the bullet they give it to the sister and by now um, John is they I mean, you know now you've got Edward who's dead uh, and older Charlotte takes the bullet and goes and gives it to the much uh, the ailing uh, and bedridden John and that's where the movie ends she returns the fourth silver bullet to them uh, made out of the dentures so that's basically where how the movie um, ends it the curse is over uh, everything is fine but I don't really get the ending but to be honest, uh, I'm not sure what they meant by it. Um, and yeah, that's, um, like I said, it, it does have an atmosphere. The beast basically let me down quite a bit. They're not scary in the least. They look, they do, they do look different, but not different enough to be, and maybe even slightly cool, but not different enough to be exciting or scary in the, in the least. So I wasn't that impressed. Um, I don't think I'll watch this movie again, uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure, but um, I would give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. It isn't the best. I watch way better movies uh, of this genre, so I was really predictable. Funnily enough, this movie uh, was, uh, I don't know how much the, what is the budget, but it, was, it made 4.6 at the box office uh, for a low budget movie set, you know, in a set in the early part of the 20th century move from uh, sorry early late part of the 21st uh, of the 19th century excuse me and uh, it did receive a lot of positive reviews but 
I wasn't impressed at all. So I'm just going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. And that's it for tonight. Thank you. I shall see you again pretty soon.